When everything you do is one of a kind, there are no written instructions. There is no blueprints for this, it's just a picture that I'm referencing. And so to get to here, check out what I had to do. You are looking at the body of Lady Liberty. You're looking at two months, 285 feet of quarter inch round bar, 44 pounds of ER70S6, and 35 tiger angled flat discs. This has taken me to get the body done to this point, and I'm just getting started. I just completed welding and grinding the whole thing down. My next step is going to be to take the orbital sander, my DA sander, and I'm going to sand the entire surface of this. Right now I've got valleys and I've got hills a little bit. It looks pretty good, but there's still, because of using the flap disc, there's still it needs to be smoothed out even more. So that is going to take and get that done. And then from there, I'm going to move on to the arms, the hands, the head, and the hair. This is what you're looking at. And this is what happens in art a lot. And I don't know about other people, but I'll say that it happens with me. Um, it's all about perspective. I have been working closely with this sculpture for two months and two weeks now. And sometimes when you're so close to something, you don't always really see something. But moving back and taking a look at it from a different angle, different perspective, you get a different picture. I had a friend come into my shop last night that actually he taught me MIG welding and fabrication, a lot of fabrication, like most of that I know came from him. And he was like, hey, uh, she's leaning forward and her dress is on backwards. <laughs> but when I looked at it, he was so right. Like the long sweeping part should be in the back and she shouldn't be leaning forward so much. Just the way I had it is she was just leaning forward. So what had happened was I've taken it, I have cut her in half and I've literally taken the body and switched it around. Um, and now I'm working on coming back in and filling a gap. Hot rod fills a gap, so here we go. What I realized is after taking a few steps back that the, the way the dress was flowing, this part in here was dipped in. And so now I've gone in and I've absolutely cut all this stuff out and I'm reworking it so that when you look at it from the side, um, with it being dipped in, it was like dipped into where her leg should be. The, the way it is now, you can see like her leg like her leg is actually there. So fabrication is not just all like easy peasy lemon squeezy like I would like it to be. I'm like probably like all of us would like it to be, but it's messy. You know, creation is messy. It's not always, it's not always cut and dry, right? So when you get back to making this something I'll be deeply proud of when I'm done.